Convex mirrors are easy, but let me first point out that the focus is on the wrong side of the mirror. So I'm gonna say that the focal length here is actually negative. This focal length is negative seven centimeters because it's on the wrong side. I don't know. We just declared that concave mirrors have their focus on the proper side. So I gotta get you four rays, ready? We're gonna find out where the image of this object is that's four centimeters long and, or high, and 18 centimeters from the line of action of the mirror. Get you a line of action ready to go, and we're going to do it. There's our P-ray coming out. P-ray comes in parallel, hits the line of action, and goes out through the focus. Well, that doesn't make much sense. Like, the focus is over here. Is that what it's going to do? It's going to hit the focus. No, it can't go through the mirror. That's ridiculous. It's going to be, when it leaves the mirror, as if it had come from the focus. So i got to draw it like this, because this is a diverging mirror. It's causing the rays to go away from each other. All right. But, uh, ooh, if I consider where it seems like it came from, it would seem to have come from over here somewhere. All right, and the next ray that we need is the F ray. The F ray I draw in orange, and it seems to have come from the focus, and it will go back out parallel, or it's heading, well, it's kind of heading towards the focus, that's what I should say. It's heading towards the focus, hits the line of action, and goes back out parallel. So I gotta draw parallel carefully here. It looks like it's gonna be going out that direction. That's actual light going that direction when it hits the mirror. Is that reasonable? I think it is. And it seems to have come from here. Dot, 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 somewhere along that line. I don't know quite where. And next up, we need to draw a C ray. The C ray goes, uh, oh man, I don't even have enough ruler to do that. The C ray is all like, Pew, pew, and it comes out, and it goes right at C, and it comes back. See, it hit the mirror normal to the surface of the mirror. So it comes right back out that direction again, and it goes like that. And it'll come back out and go off the object like that. But it seems to have originated, it didn't actually originate here, but it seems to have originated somewhere back here. We've already got a good hint of where our image is. Maybe I can skip a bit? No, let's do the M-ray. The M-ray is hitting right here. Pew! M-ray is hitting right here, and it bounces back out right here. As if it had come from, wait for it, as if it had come from right there. See, it is actually right here, but it's as if it came from over there. That's my M-ray, and my image is lovely located right here. The distance of the image, check it first. Oh, the height of the image, well, that's positive and small. The height of the image seems to be about 1.5 centimeters, and it's upright, so that's cool. Wait a second, that means it's not real. Look, it's over here on the dark side. It's on the dark side. There's no light there, so it's a virtual image. And this is the light side, and the focus is on the wrong side, so we got all these kind of complications. And then uh, the distance of the image, oh, how far is it? It is uh, at 4.5 centimeters, but it's on the wrong side of the mirror. It's not on the light side of the mirror, so we see the distance of the image is negative. All right, let's do another one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this object a little bit closer for this next problem. All right, here we are, and we've got a line of action of the mirror right here. Are you expecting that the object will be getting bigger or smaller than that object right there? Let's see what happens. I want to draw you some rays. First ray, P ray. Coming in parallel, going out as if it originated at the focus. Mm-hmm, so it's like this, going that direction, but as if it had come from somewhere in here. Cool, next ray, F. F comes from, wow, what a mess. F comes, oh well, it's, it's like shooting towards the focus, but it can't quite get there. As soon as it hits the line of action of the mirror, it's gonna go out parallel. Mm -hmm. Parallel to the principal axis there, but it seems like it came from somewhere in here. Cool. That is that. And the next one we need is the C-ray. The C-ray comes uh, at C. It's aiming at C. That means that it will actually hit the mirror dead on and normal to the surface of the mirror. It goes bink and it comes back out like this. So that is the C-ray, but it seems to have originated over here, 
at sea. Oh boy, look how they're all crossing. What fun. M-ray, M-ray time. And the M-ray goes through the middle and comes back out at the same angle. It goes like, pow, and then it comes out like, pow. And it seems to have come from right there. There's no light over here, but there's definitely an image that's forming. The image is virtual and it is upright. And let's find out how big it is. Let's see, it's gonna be positive height. And where it is, it will be um, on the wrong side of the mirror. It looks like it's about two centimeters. So that's a little bigger than our previous image and it is still on the wrong side. It's four centimeters negative four centimeters. So let's compare to our previous result. We had 1.5 centimeters. So we got the image to be bigger and we got the image to be closer to the mirror. So it seems like our image is moving towards the mirror as we move towards the mirror. And that will make tremendous sense when we do this next one. I hope, I'm gonna try to make it sense for you. I don't know, I don't know, but I'll give it a try. We need a line of action for this mirror. Here's the line of action for the mirror. This one's going to be a little bit silly. We need some rays. First, P-ray. P-ray comes in parallel, hits the line of action for the mirror, and seems to have come from the focus. Here it is. Seems to have come from the focus, so it'll be going out like that, and I can draw you some dotted lines over here. Uh-huh. Pew! That's our P-ray. And then we've got an F-ray. The F-ray goes straight at the focus, doesn't make it comes back out parallel as if it had come from, as if it had come, watch this, as if, ah, as if it had come from over here. Dot, 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 Okay, that is a little bit silly. You want another ray? Okay, here's a C ray. And the C ray is aiming for C. Never quite makes it though. Comes at the mirror, straight on to the mirror, comes back out this way as if it had come from over here. Okay, and the final ray that I like to do, M. The M ray is a little bit funky. It goes here straight at the middle of the mirror and comes back out this direction. Ready? There's our M ray going that way. But it looks like it came from somewhere over here. Okie dokie, we've got ourselves an image, ladies and gentlemen, and that image is upright and very similar to the object itself. In fact, as you get closer and closer to a sphere, it looks flat. You get your face all up in a sphere, it looks really flat, like Christopher Columbus style flat. Yeah, Christopher Columbus style flat. That's right, Doc, okay. Here, the height of the image is very similar to the height of our object. It looks like it's 3.8. Centimeters, the distance of the image is on the other side, but it looks like 1.7 centimeters. Wow, we are approaching the effect of a plain mirror where the distance of the image and the distance of the object are the same, just on opposite sides, and the height of the image is the height of the object. Goodbye, God bless you, good night.